Hello. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Chill. Chill. Hello, everyone. My name is Jill, and welcome to my channel. I hope that was a little bit better. I just want to apologize to you guys again. It has been a while since I've uploaded a YouTube video, and that's just because I've been sick. I was sick again this time. Instead of my double ear infection, I ended up just feeling very fatigued, and I don't even know. I don't even know, man. I'm so sorry. A lot has happened since the last time I've uploaded a YouTube video. As you can see behind me, I have a brand new fish. His name is Sherman, and he is my beautiful, beautiful red veta. And today we will be fixing up his fish tank. So if you are interested in watching that, please do stay tuned. But in the meantime, I want to be telling y'all what I've been up to. Also behind me, I'm, I'm hiding this ugly old fish tank that my Corydoras fry used to be in. You may ask, Jill, why is it empty? They all died, all of them. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know how many of you know this, but I have a 230 liter fish tank that I made a couple videos about. The reason that I haven't given you guys any updates on that is because I actually ended up not being like too happy with how it turned out and it was kind of an eyesore to me and I felt bad about it so I didn't want to make YouTube videos about it. But I had the bright idea of putting a divider in the tank and adding my Corridora spray in it. I actually have vicious Pakistani loaches in my 230 liter fish tank that I don't want to kill my Corridora spray. So I put the divider in and I really honestly could not be happier with how it turned out. I will be making a YouTube video about that soon, but it seriously looks so good in my opinion. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like the look of my new fish tank with a divider in it? I mean, it's not new, but I think it looks much better, okay? It just looks much better in my head, okay? I recently went to my local fish store and I got a ton of live black worms that have been in my fridge for three days now. And I'm like, Jill, you need to make a YouTube video. You're gonna have dead worms. My corridors are gonna go freaking crazy over these worms. So here is them eating the worms. It might look like I'm feeding my corridors an absolute ton of these worms, but just so you know, the corridors will gorge themselves with these worms and the worms that they don't eat will end up burrowing down into the substrate. So the corridors can go back and find the worms whenever they're hungry. It's super ideal because Corydoras dig through substrate anyways to find food. So super ideal, amazing for breeding. If you guys maybe want to see your fish spawn more, definitely, definitely get live foods for them packed with protein and they will spawn for you. Hopefully. I'm not gonna make you any promises, but hopefully. One more thing before we start, you guys. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this five gallon tank now, you guys. It's empty, it's full of snails. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with the snails, but if you guys had a empty five gallon fish tank, what would you do with it? I need some ideas, so please, please give me some ideas. I should be getting into this YouTube video now. Okay, so the first thing I did was I put Sherman in a mason jar and how rude would I be if I didn't see if he wanted black worms as well, which he did. Next, I drained all the water out of his little five gallon tank. Thankfully, I had some Eco Earth just sitting around, which is a fertilizer. It promotes root growth in your plants. And I tried to actually add that in with a spoon, which didn't satisfy me enough. It honestly would have taken way too long. So I just dumped it all in, you know, me being impatient. Now this really sucks, you guys. Cockroaches are a common household pest in Australia. Would you believe that? Thankfully, I had a little predator to save me. What's in this bag is my substrate. So I'm adding a diamond substrate in the tank. I'll put the name of the substrate on the screen. I know a lot of people have asked me about it. It is amazing. It's not great for Corydoras, but it looks really, really good. The great thing about having multiple tanks is you usually have enough material to start up a brand new tank if you need to or if you want to which is exactly what I did. I didn't have to buy like any sort of substrate or plants for this tank, which is great. Plant, plant, plant. 
I really, really love these plants. I forgot what they're called, but they bush up really, really nicely. And I think under these lights, they will grow amazing. But isn't it funny whenever you plant plants in your aquarium, you try to bury the roots, but every time you bury a root, another root ends up sticking up somewhere else. I don't know how that works, but oh my gosh, it's horrible. I did this for like 20 minutes. By the way guys if you're enjoying the video so far I would appreciate it if you could leave a like leaving likes on videos really does help so much with the algorithm if not it's totally cool as well I love you just the same I wanted to show you guys this plant look at how long this vine is I got this vine out of my Corydoras tank and wow I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is pretty much the last I've recorded of making this fish tank. I'm skipping forward now like three hours. It really took me so long to get this down. But in that time, I created a sort of floating plant block from my filter. And here I am adding frog bit. I also added in driftwood from my Corydoras tank. So as you can see, the finished product is here. I just used rocks, shut up. <laughs> Cats meowing. I just used rocks that I had sitting around and this tank ended up looking so amazing. I'm like actually very surprised that I, I made this myself because I've never made anything that looks this good in my life. And I'm going to add my little share me. Look you guys, I'm not abusing him. I'm trying to be as gentle as I can with him, okay? So please don't yell at me. As soon as I added him in, he immediately started swimming around and looking at everything and he just seemed so much more happy with all of this stuff to look at and play in and he looks so beautiful against the contrast of the blacks and the greens and the browns and man, I just, I, I outdid myself you guys. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please do drop a like and if you like me and you like this sort of stuff, then please do subscribe because I'd love to have you. Um, thank you. Thank you again. So, 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 so much. See you next time.